video, guys. I wasn't planning on making a video today, um, but I, I'm I'm I, I need to make this one. Um, you know, and I, I I also said that I was going to try to slow down on making you know videos about guys and and things like that but I'm I'm gonna it'll probably be easier for me to say that I'm not gonna say that anymore because things just come up you know and at the end of the day my the thing I do here is try to help and inspire women with the experiences that that I've had that I've gone through hearing and listening to things and bringing my perspective to it because um, I am spiritually minded and I do have a lot of wisdom uh, to share whether people think it, believe it, or whatever, I do. And I know that it's helpful if you listen. So <clears throat> not sure how this is going to come out, but you know, I... I, the, the whole point of the video is that there is a frustration that, you know, kind of comes up in me when I hear certain things and At the big picture, I get it. I, I get the whole big picture. I get a lot of it is an agenda. A lot of it is an agenda. I get a lot of it is uh, mental illness, just straight up, straight out mental illness. Um, just confusion. Just it, it's, you know, it, there's a number of factor of things. Um, but here's the thing. So. The point of what I want to make this video about is the is the fact that I get very tired of hearing good men, the ones who call themselves good men, uh, continually just try to when especially when women point out things about men or in dating or their even their past, even their relationships, even personal experience of things that they have absolutely gone through. And a man will come back and say, no, that didn't happen or no, maybe this or maybe this, you know, and it's, it's, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because on one hand, you're calling yourself a good guy, which all of them do. Uh, 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 most of the murdering guys in uh, in prison will say that they are good men. So, um, but they call themselves good men, but yet, for the most part, they absolutely defend other men's ratchet, degenerate behavior. Even when they are calling themselves good men, because then they will in the same breath or in the next breath say, but I don't hang out with dudes like that. But I don't know dudes like that. Well, I don't, I don't have friends like that. Ain't none of my friends. None of my friends, we don't hang with dudes like that. And it's just, it, that is the frustrating part because I don't, I would hope they're not doing it on purpose, but I don't believe they truly understand how that is truly gaslighting. <laughs> and that is truly, basically in a, in, in, in a nutshell, telling a woman that you don't know what you're talking about. That's not true. I'm a man, I'm saying it's not true, so it's not true. Because I don't know men like that. I don't know, 
I don't have friends like that. And this is so they say. So you got to take their word for that. Even all of this good man stuff, you have to take their word for that. Because how do I know? <clears throat> There's two men in the gas station. One straight, degenerate, let's say Kevin Samuels, white pill, uh, a white pill. Lord, I hope it ain't a white pill. Red pill logic, uh, women hating, all, just all of that. And they listen to these podcasters and things like that. Now, this is this one guy. Okay. The other guy is a self-proclaimed good guy. He has a job. Maybe he's married. Maybe he's in the home with his children. Maybe he don't hang out. Maybe he don't cheat. Maybe he, um, you know, is, is, is not out there like that. He don't listen to them podcasts. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's you got two different men. Now, they're both in the same space. How is a woman supposed to know? Because that's the other frustrating part. The other frustrating part is you say you're not like that. You say don't none of your friends hang out with people like that. Like you don't know guys like that. But how does a woman just differentiate by looking at you? How, how does she know that unless she gets to know you in some kind of way? And how much level of listening to hate and these hateful podcasters and things like how much into that makes you a bad guy? Like, like if you just, if you have listen to some of that stuff but you don't really believe it or buy into it so you ain't really all the way there with it or you don't listen at all or I mean it's it's at the end of the day I'm not trying to confuse nobody at the end of the day what I'm saying is that it's very confusing and the point of the video is that it's very gaslighting <laughs> For you, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a bad cold. For guys to basically just try to move themselves aside from those kind of guys, even though they know what women are is saying is relevant, it's true, you know it's true. There's one particular person that I was listening to on TikTok. And <clears throat> for the most part, I would say, because I've listened to him enough, like I, I've, I'm starting to listen to like some of the lives and things like that on TikTok. And so I'm beginning to like see regular people that I subscribe to or whatever, or follow. <clears throat> and so this particular guy is maybe a middle-aged black man and he's on certain panels. And so... I mean, I guess for the most part, I would say he he is pretty much of a good guy because of the fact that I I can listen to him long enough to know that he's not really all into that stuff. However, here's my problem. There was about maybe four women or something on this particular panel. I can't even remember what the topic was, something about black men and women. <laughs> and maybe two women. No, there were about four women and maybe the, the two guys or maybe three guys. And so they were, women were bringing up very valid, very relevant points. And the older guy, the good guy, basically after he couldn't protest or anything, anything that the women were saying, which he really wasn't trying to protest it, but he basically just said, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Because, oh, I know what the topic, I think they were talking about, I think they were talking about these passport guys and not even necessarily saying that they cared about the men being passport guys. It was the fact of, the things that they have to say about black women 
in order to be the passport guy. You know what I'm saying? To get your passport and leave and go get whatever women in whatever place you think you finna find different women. Um, and because black women is black women at black women, you know, and, and that's my point. And that was their point. It was like, just get your passport and go. Like, you don't have to make a speech about it. Just go. And so his his point or his comment was just ignore them. Just ignore them. Just, you know, you, you, know, the, you know they ain't right in the head and you know they ain't blah, blah, blah. Just ignore them. Just don't even listen to them. And it's just like, I don't think people realize this was something that I was going to also make a video about is the fact that if you understand trauma and if you understand uh, all the things that make up trauma and the fact that, I mean, I'm learning trauma. I'm learning because I'm I'm going back and starting to do shadow work and things like that. And I'm seeing all the little pieces of my life that were traumatic for me as a kid <laughs> and teen. And so, as a matter of fact, I haven't even got to my teens yet. I'm still in the, uh, the kid stage. But at the end of the day, the point is that every time a Black woman opens up any social media app, and hear something about black women's hair, something about black women's lips, something about the way black women parent, something about single black women, something about masculine black women, something about um, black women who don't have no job, black women who want this from a man. And, you know, so of course they're not happy with that. They're not happy with the independent black women who don't have to go to a man who have all their own. They're not happy with her either. So I don't think anybody, I'm not going to say anybody, but I don't think it's really been uh, really measured as of yet how much trauma that actually is. You're just opening up your app or whatever social media app it is. And you have to keep hearing that, seeing that, scrolling past it, you know, block that person. But I mean, like, it's it's almost like a job at this point. Like, it really is. Like, every video, and I, I'm going to speak for myself. There are so many videos that you don't know who is going to say what. You know what I'm saying? Until it's like, uh, okay, let's see what he talking about. Oh, okay. He hates black women. You know, and it's just like, or, oh, well, let's see what this guy talking about. You know, uh, okay, okay. Uh, okay, all right. Well, he's supportive of black women. He like, okay, all right. Okay, well, I can listen to that. But still, the point is you're on guard. It's like you're literally on guard on social media. Like, Almost to the point that you're a, a, afraid to even repost. You're afraid, like, like I know I'm not the only woman who will see, you know, something and not fully know what all of it is about. It's something by black women, and it's just like, you know what? I don't even want to hear it. Like I'm, I don't even want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? And it might be good. It might really be good, but we're so used to the abuse we're so uh on edge about the abuse that it's constant it's on instagram it's on tiktok it's on facebook like it's everywhere and so for you to tell a woman well just don't listen to it just 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 ignore it just ign it's 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 the, the point is that in my opinion, these good guys need to start doing more than just telling women, oh, well, I don't hang out with guys like that, or just don't listen to them, or just ignore it, or um, 
because I had a guy, I had a guy, I think it was on Facebook. I had a guy tell me something one time and it was, it, it was something to the effect of, you know, he don't have friends like that. He don't, he don't, oh, I don't hang around guys like that. I don't even hang around guys like that. You know, because it, it was something that we were talking about or some type of discussion we were having and it came up about holding other men accountable it came up about doing more in the black community and the neighborhoods and all of that to help begin to change the mindset of these little boys and you know like where do you start and things like that and you know, talking and trying to mentor and whatever, you know, these little boys. And it's so amazing to me also, and I'm not saying that they don't, but it's just so amazing to me that all of these self-proclaimed good guys always work in the community with, with, with the youth. They, I mean, I, it, it's, it's hard for me to really think back to a self-proclaimed good guy who hasn't told me, oh, well, I do this for the youth. And I, I, yeah, I talk to, I, you know, I don't talk to the little boys. And, and it's just like, if all of y'all self-proclaimed good guys who are not hanging out with the bad guys and the, the guys who are saying all these horrible, traumatic things and continuing to allow these things to go on and fester in the community and create these the these cult this culture of division between in the black community i'm not seeing no change like i you know i i understand that like you know one person can't change like whatever but if all of y'all good guys are all hanging out in packs and tribes and all of this together like Somewhere along the way, we need to start seeing more changes being made beside, oh, I don't hang out with dudes like that. And and I don't know dudes like that. Like, I mean, right now we see women. We we definitely see black women make making different changes and different moves and things like that, especially as far as dating uh in the black community. We we definitely see that. So if we can see the women moving and what the women are doing, why aren't we seeing changes in the males? Like, why aren't we seeing, like, yeah, like I'm talking about on a bigger scale than just guys now seeing that women are moving away from, from a lot of dating and they're not trying to do the stuff that, women used to do like a lot of women are just really not concerned at this point about even trying to date and all of this kind of stuff they're getting therapy getting help for themselves creating female tribes i mean you know it's you can see it you can see it so much that the men are are seeing it there are men now that i have seen on social media who i know was making hate videos and black women ain't crap videos and you know all of this crap and yet now they're making fellas we got to do better and you know fellas you know women women today or you know they're, they're getting sick of your stuff and blah 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 and i'm saying myself like because i'm looking at these dudes and i'm like you know when I mean, like, you was just making those same type of videos, like, not too long ago. Like, I I, I, I know I'm not crazy, because one thing I don't forget is a face. Like, y'all, are y'all, like, doing some bandwagon and stuff? Like, women going over here, and we know black women topics of any kind are popular, so let me move over here. Let me get on, let me get off of that, because that's not popular no more. So let me get on here now and try to uplift back when, like, I mean, you know, and that's, that's exactly what it seems like is happening. And, but still without the change and still without real, true, sincere 
accountability and respond and and accountability like it's like y'all just changing platforms <laughs> and, and and it's still you're still being selfish and it's still focused on you and probably getting your bag and getting your money and whatever it is so whether you bashing black women or whether you're trying to uplift black women it seems to me like that's just all about your bag. Like this, this whole, a lot of this movement to me of uplifting black women now, or everybody want to be on the, oh, oh, black men, we got to do better now. You know, it seemed like that's just some new ploy again. Like that's just some new something again. And if they get another godfather or they get, you know, if, if, if it become more popular again to dog, degrade, and all of this, black women, they will be right back over there. I'm, I'm hoping I'm making sense. I, I really am. The, the video is about men holding men accountable and the frustration of all of these self-proclaimed good guys who downplay what women are saying and telling women just forget about it real quick i want to share another real quick little thing that i um saw on social media so um there was a report of a um an offing of a mother and her son by uh the boyfriend everyone was african american and long story short comments were made whatever um and the i'm not really sure what all to tell I, um at the end of the day the guy if i'm not mistaken may have gotten um the um I don't even know if I can say death sentence. I hope I can. I hope my video don't get banned, but he got death sentence um, in his state for that. And I said, well, I said a lot of stuff on that post, but at the end of the day, uh, the points that I made, like many people agree, which is fine. I'm not trying to do it all for likes. I just express myself. But then this one black, this one guy, this one guy came back and said, no, we haven't seen, we, we've seen dudes like offing black women, but not the children to the rate that like, this is some new stuff. I think he said, this is some new stuff where they're, you know, offing the children. And Basically, at the end of the day, I told him, like, no, not really. This this is not any new stuff. This is the same demonic energy. You know what I'm saying? And it, it really is. Like I told him, I said, you need to really seriously go and research all of the, even pregnant women who have been off in the last year, or I said year, but I say year or two. Like, it's been a lot of them. Matter of fact, a guy just pushed a his pregnant girlfriend or wife, I'm not sure, I'm just going to say partner, off of a balcony. I don't think she died, but she got some really serious injuries, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe she died. And I believe there was a couple of children in the house. If you all remember or know that story, you know, um, put it down there in the comments. Let me know uh, that you know what I'm talking about. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just, it, you know, and that's the thing. The, the, the thing is, you want to tell me I'm wrong, or you want to tell me that I'm, I, I, what I'm saying is not correct because you're a self-proclaimed good guy and you don't know guys like that. So, no, this is some new stuff. Guy, you know, guys ain't out here just offing children like that. I mean, dude, come on. You really seriously like need to look at that at the evidence because you need to do some research because yes they are. 
And I'm not just picking on black men. It's a whole lot of Hispanic men out there who are doing the same thing. White guys too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But since I'm I'm African American, I stay primarily in my own culture. But it is just really seriously a thing. It is really a thing. That is my alarm. I apologize, guys. So, but that's the end of the video. That that that's really all that I wanted to say. If you are a self-proclaimed good guy or whatever, you're gonna have to do more to differentiate yourself from the others than just saying, you know than just like basically in a lot of ways defending them because that's what that's almost what it sounds like as if y'all are defending them and maybe I, I think a lot of it is because you know you I mean you're all men you know like with women you know we, there's a lot of we can understand each other as women I, I get it it's the same thing as men but right is still right and wrong is still wrong and then once the point is actually made and it's put out there in your face and you can't deny it, then all of a sudden, well, I don't know dudes like that. Uh, you know, just, just ignore them dudes, you know, like just, just act like they ain't even talking, you know. I don't hang out with guys like that. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm... Come on, we got, we got to do better. We got to do better. But you guys, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Um, Hit the notification bell, please. Um, and until the next time, see you next time.